this video is proudly sponsored by Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online community with classes for an enormous range of people. From the amateur to the pro, almost seemingly any topic you could think of, you can search it and find classes on the topic. I personally always been interested in learning about SEO, search engine optimization. I took a class the last three mornings while having my coffee before work by a guy called Rand Fishkin. And it was 12 short classes, no exam, no timetable. Whenever I want, I click play and I learn. there at your discretion. Any topic you can think of. I typed in architecture to see 2,000 classes. If there's something that you're curious about learning, click the link below. Try Skillshare. We have all this information at our fingertips. Give it a try. Learn something new today. Your choice. Enjoy the video. on that dot. A dot right in the center, middle of my head. If you're this side of the happiness line, you're really happy. Hi. It's very good to see you. My name is Matt and I'd like to formally welcome you to the articulate sleep clinic. If you'd just like to take the seat in front of you, we'll uh, get you checked in and registered. And without too much of a delay, we'll get your consultation started. Now, would I be right in thinking this isn't your first Excellent. Okay. Well, we are in a constant pursuit of perfection. Constantly refining our approach and execution. Okay. Now, got your name. Yes. And you are right on time sure if that's unusual for you or if that's how you operate on a day-to-day -day basis but for us punctuation is unimportant you're here for the next at least for the next 48 hours and what we hope to provide in the two days together is a new and refined way of uh, how we see sleep, how we approach sleep in our minds and removing the obstacle that we sometimes face every time we go to sleep. Have you ever noticed why falling asleep on a couch is an order of magnitude easier than it is falling asleep in your bed? In fact, some would say a sleep clinic isn't even necessary. You could just sit in front of the couch, put a movie on that you are sure you're going to watch, and within 10 minutes, you start to get sleepy. Well, here we are. Believe it or not, we actually studied a small piece of this phenomenon. And a lot of it is to do with expectation and the pressure we put onto ourselves. When we're on the couch, there are no expectations there. You don't have to do anything. If, if anything, it's the opposite. We want to fall asleep. But we don't have to. And we 
because we don't have to, it's infinitely more appealing and infinitely easier. And there's so much emphasis and so much we can understand about the human psyche, but that very small situation, sleeping on the couch, is easy. Sleeping in your bed, challenging. So what can we do here to help bring that ease into whenever you go to bed? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, before we get into the specifics, I'd like to offer you a refreshing and surprisingly invigorating This is a little soluble capsule. Mix it with some water. And the capsule is a capsule of our own design. It's vitamin C, a little bit of vitamin D in there, K2 to supplement the vitamin D, um, some amino acids, a bit of vegetable. And what we found is it's a top. Now the tonic itself is non-drowsy, it's not a, a, a sleeping pill, it's really just a little tablet. It's a beautiful smell. <laughs> and of course it's only Fiji water. Now depending on your history, you may find this quite relaxing. Now this is only very slight. Very, very slight. Okay, well, let's dissolve. And once we've had a little drink of the tonic, I'll be explaining our approach. So, I'll ask you to, uh, to lie down. And I think it's important to stress that in the sleep clinic, your input is minimal. There is nothing worse than the added pressure of having to talk and make small talk. There may be the occasional question, usually open or maybe even closed-ended, uh, where sometimes a, a simple yes or no will suffice. Okay? But generally speaking, you'll really quite like it. Once you find your drink, so just lay back and you'll find the chair reclines back into the most comfortable bed you ever laid down on. Okay, now, feeling comfortable, feeling supported. Good. And you like the drink. Of course you do. It's a tonic of my own design. Okay. Now, part of what we do for the third time is understanding the senses and what part they play in culminating in a good night's sleep. Some you may be familiar with. Scent. Scent has widely been associated with uh, a good night's sleep. You can smell lavender, pine oil. We found that, uh, and you maybe found from your own experience, that that can 
have a relaxing, that can have a, a relaxing impact on the body and the mind, making sleep far less elusive. Okay? The eyes. Now this might sound wholly counterintuitive, but what we can see with our eyes is often another contributing factor in being able to get a good night's sleep, okay? Now, that tonic is slowly coursing its way through your body, and think of the tonic as like a nice warm blanket that's just preparing your body for sleep. Now, I talked about us enhancing and even manipulating the senses to lull you in to a deep sleep. A deep, deep sleep. But just before we get there, We've also found that um, routine procedures and processes can also be uh, quite relaxing. Quite relaxing. Relaxing. Quite relaxing. And repetition can also be quite relaxing. Now, I have here. your own personal little dossier. And in this, we'll be documenting and recording your results. Any questions that we ask, response time, sleep patterns. Um, and a little bit later on, we can even um, clipping on little sensors that will help monitor your dreams the depth of your sleep and the benefits, how deep you're actually sleeping and, and when you're waking up, how uh, revitalized you're feeling because of the sleep. So I'll be documented here and at the end of the two days, provide a handy little report that should make things quite clear and uh, explain what your main challenges are when trying to Alright, now, before we go any further, I just like to take your blood pressure, if that's okay with you. And the reason we take blood pressure is because many people who are suffering from either insomnia, interrupted sleep patterns. You want to make sure that the, the cause of that isn't in the physical. And blood pressure could be an indication of uh, something that we might want to, to investigate further into. Okay? Please don't be alarmed. you've had your blood pressure taken at numerous points in the past. But essentially, it's a little sleeve that we put on your bicep. We apply air pressure to it, and the pressure that's forced back from the blood is measured on this little counter here. And you can see it's not really, um, it's really not rocket science. Everything we use here is either brand new or sterilized to, of course, a medical standard. Excellent. And it's important. 
important to know making intention we are in no rush at all nothing we're doing is rushed we're taking our time we're relaxing and maybe we're going to be sleeping now I'd like you to pop your arm into here please inflating the sleeve. rare that we find any kind of defect or uh, worrying signs with the blood pressure okay so we do it more as a precaution good now we know you're healthy you look well the tonic is again just beginning to coat your insides with that relaxation and that How are you feeling? Very good, very good. Now, just before we proceed, one last medical check. It's a small thermometer, and I just need you to say ah. Uh, Wonderful. 37. Exactly where it should be. Okay. Before we go any further, I'd like you to take a deep breath in. And one more. Very good. Now, you may already know this, but the reason we encourage the double deep breath is because it's circulating more oxygen in your blood. And when we're oxygenated, we're a little bit more relaxed. mentioned uh, manipulating senses every sound we make from this point forward is intentional not least of all Now the idea of 
for incorporating the tuning fork into our videos actually came from two ASMR creators. If you've ever heard of ASMR, which I'm sure you have. Starling ASMR and Lizzie ASMR are both famous for incorporating these tuning forks into their videos. And we watched it and thought, deeply relaxing, maybe we could put this at the beginning of our process to help again set the intention. So with your eyes closed, please, I'll be gently tapping the tuning fork and you'll hear the resonance in each ear. Choose to. It's a beautiful sound. And this is a one, two, eight C. And of all the research we did. This was the most pleasant for us. Excellent. <laughs> I could listen to these all day. And again, a thank you to Lizzie and to Starling for making us aware of Maybe we can call on these a little bit later. Now the body's beginning to understand it's here to relax, but let's uh, introduce a small misting spray. A misting spray. And what the misting spray does, it's going to coat the face with a very fine. you can. Maybe your eyes are a little bit heavy, maybe even a little watery. I'd like you to stare at my forehead 
and it's a fairly prominent forehead you shouldn't be able to should be fairly easy for you to look and focus on it's right here I want you to stare just stare at the center of my forehead keep staring as I move off screen a little bit just focus on that dot Stare at that dot. And as you're staring at it again, you might feel like, if not before, certainly now, eyes are feeling a little bit heavy, watery again, difficult to, to keep open. You can blink if you need to. Now, this isn't hypnosis. No instruction other than to look at the center of my forehead. But it's commanding the brain to think a certain way. It's commanding the brain to focus on something other than whatever it had intended to. Distraction is another key element to being able to fall asleep. Can we distract that little dude in the back of her head always talking, 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 talking? Distraction. The mind, in almost any case, is unable to focus on two things at once. And if you're still able to keep your eyes open, something to help you visualize what I'm talking about in terms of distraction for the brain. I have a very simple board here. And don't worry, this isn't math class. And I'm going to draw the laziest infinity symbol you've ever seen okay and the reason we're drawing infinity is because our brains get caught in a loop and if we don't physically take the time to break the loop, it'll keep going over and over and over. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're thinking about, in many cases, worrying about. All that matters is that you're stuck on the loop. Okay? Try and keep that one in mind. The second, an imaginary line. It's not imaginary because you can see it. But think of this line as the line of happiness, right? Is that a line? It's a line of happiness. If you're touching this line, you're happy. If you're this side of happiness line, you're really happy. Okay? You're doing good. But anything to this side of the line 
is unhappy. It's anxious. It's concerned. It's scared. It's just not feeling quite right. Okay? It's not feeling quite right. You don't know why. But just don't feel right. Each and every one of us. Almost each and every one of us want to be this side of the line. Most maybe we're this close to the line. Happiness is never too far away. Maybe we feel contented. When we get to do something nice, we we cross that threshold into this happiness land. But some people are here. And when this individual When their friend says, how did you sleep last night? I haven't slept in 12 hours. I haven't slept in 48 hours. I can't stop worrying. And the friend says, order a pizza, you know, take a vacation. That'll make you happy. What if a vacation only takes you to hear. You're still not anywhere near as happy as this person. What if it's a pizza or a nice meal only takes you this far? I appreciate these are very ugly swiggles on a board. But the point I'm making is that we aren't all the same. We don't all start at the same place. On the band of happiness. And being contented is a huge contributing factor to being able to fall asleep. When your mind is at ease, when it doesn't have something to worry about, we rest well. Okay? And in the times we do, something to worry about or money troubles or trouble at school work home and relationship that makes falling asleep a problem not always some people sleep perfectly well with troubles ongoing but many of the clients that we see are suffering from this some people just naturally are further away from that line and they need more or something different to help bridge that gap. And I'm not saying that everyone who's happy sleeps well, but a disproportionately large amount of them do. Now our goal here isn't to make you happy because it makes you sleepy. Our goal is to find ways to get you to a restful state. sleep mode. Now, relax, take a deep breath, one more, good, okay next. wondering why I'm tapping on a wooden box. It's because it's a beautiful piece of wood. And I like the sound. Now, in 
inside this box is a soap and this soap has been especially curated with sleep in mind one sniff one sniff similar to the tonic It's a beautiful mix. Let's take a smell. Put that away. Now, it's nothing narcotic in there. Okay, it's not psilocybin, it's nothing, um, nothing untoward, nothing nefarious. It's just a soap made of some therapeutic plants that have uh, restorative and healing properties okay it's a beautiful smell heavily infused with lavender of course lavender sits um, almost at the core of, of any medicinal treatment where sleep is concerned because they have so many properties the plant itself They can help us relax. Okay. Good. Now we're going to do a thought exercise. We talked about worry and concern, um, things that detract us, that act as a, a, a bridge between us unhappiness and the lack of bridge so those worries those concerns we try and pluck them out of course it is metaphorically but I want you to relax here Really think about the sound. And every time we're plucking something away, it's you taking a step closer, closer, closer. The act of plucking negative thoughts, worries, concerns, is actually very old. We think of it as a modern technique, but Individuals have been performing this ritual for thousands of years. And we still do it today. Albeit maybe under slightly different guys. Good. Very good. Wonderful. around my little table. We spoke about scent, the soap. Now here, I'd like you 
just to look just to look at the liquid inside and really understand and appreciate Even the lid bends light around it. Have a little smell. Excellent. Wonderful. This is a million bristle brush. A million bristle brush. You almost can't even see the brushes, the bristles. But this. circles and these 
something's actually difficult to even decipher anymore. Like it was almost always there. I hope you haven't already. I'd like you to go ahead and close your eyes. And I'd like you to imagine you are stressing over 